A promising invention now being tested at Towson University collects and stores solar energy even when it's not sunny. Suzanne Collins explains the idea is to place solar cells along the nation's highways to generate power for street lights or construction. Now we have no direct sunlight. We're making 331 volts. The inventor says these circular solar collectors placed along a jersey wall gather much more energy than flat panels, even when it's a dim day or at night. Part of the ability that we have that no other solar cell system in the world has is that when headlights strike these tubes at night, they create electricity. The Electrowall also stores what it collects in batteries, so it supplies electricity 24 hours a day. The inventor shows how he can plug right in, illuminating four fluorescent bulbs and a sander. Solar Road Technologies is getting business and research support from Towson University. Today, Congressman John Sarbanes, who's on an energy committee, gets a demonstration. The inventor claims a million feet of his collectors could match the output of a small nuke, but be cheaper and built a lot sooner. Solar Road is developing this technology that can be deployed very quickly um, across the country in ways that can capture the sun and capture light. Professors and students at Towson are testing the solar tubes. We have had uh, in the incubator at least nine or ten different student interns working in the company, uh, as well as uh, conducting research projects uh, on the capacities uh, of the technology. The company also wants to market this cube tube, which would be installed on the top of a worker's cubicle in an office, and it would get energy from the fluorescent lights in that workspace. You can plug your computer, your printer directly into it. In Towson, Suzanne Collins, WJZ Eyewitness News. The company says the electricity wouldn't have to be distributed by the current power grid, just tapped into where it's collected. A controversial decision is made when it comes